welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So first things first, apologies about the sound. It is such a windy day today and I'm really trying to project my voice, but uh, I just don't know if my microphone is gonna pick it up. So I hope you can hear me. But before we get started, you guys I'm sure will appreciate the jumper choice for today. And it literally, look at the hood as well. Like, have you ever seen something cooler? So I thought I had to wear it for Fossil Friday because it's just appropriate. But today we're going to be continuing the prep work on my Megalitoceros ammonite, which is the biggest fossil I've found. So if you haven't watched the first part, I'll link it down below if you'd like to watch that first. But if not, we're just gonna continue the prep on this because I think it's gonna take quite a while. But I'll flick it up now to show you guys. It does weigh an absolute ton. So you can see it here. It's coming together nicely. I'm just trying to clean up the center to really reveal all of the fossil. And then I'll make the decision whether to put a, you know, a slight coat of paraloid or varnish on it to really just like seal the deal and make it look the part or just leave it all natural. I'm still on the fence with that one, but this is it in its current state and we're gonna continue the prep. So here's a close up of the progress so far. So you can see I've made quite a lot of a dent into it. Um, but there's still a long way to go. But before I start using my Dremel, which is this thing here. So I use a Dremel 290 engraver. I will link it down below. I use the one with customized nib things uh, from Zoic Paleo Tools. So I'll uh, put all Zoic Paleo Tech. I always get them muddled up. But I will link them down below because I forgot to last time. And this works so well. And it's so much more affordable than air tools. And it's a really good place to start. So I recommend trying a Dremel and then thinking about investing in the air tool. So this is the one I use, and I'm just using the chisel nib. So you can see it there. It's just this tiny, teeny, tiny chisel, but it works really well, the uh, customized tips that are made for it. And then just a small note on safety, make sure you're wearing eye protection and something on your face uh, just to stop the bits of dust. So I like to do it outside um, just to let kind of the bits of rock and dust go elsewhere but if you are in a confined space make sure you have some sort of extractor because it's just not worth filling your lungs with bits of dust and rock but that being said let's jump to it
So it always amazes me, this is literally two hours worth of work. So I've revealed most of this world here, and then it's just now this panel here, and I can see it under this bit as well. So still a long way to go, but it's certainly getting there. So more and more is getting revealed, but it's just so slow getting this chunk out. But yeah, a few more days I think on it and we'll be there. So it's now getting very windy and very cold. So that is the end of Fossil Friday this week, but I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. We will get there eventually with this lovely Megalitoceros, but it is, I keep underestimating just how long it actually is going to take to just clean up the middle of it. But thank God I don't have to clean all of it. It's just the center. So it's going to be worth it in the end. It's just a slow, slow process. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I'll link all my social media down below as well if you'd like to follow me on there. But look after yourselves and hopefully I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.